Hi friends, make sure to check out part one of this live replay if you haven't already. Here's part two. Really like to hold some of my writing supplies at the very end like that. And it helps to get really loose and kind of intuitive marks. This is one I'm really just liking so far. So let's see what I can do. And maybe it's just bringing in some color block sections um, and then kind of starting from scratch over those. Sometimes we don't need an exact reason why we don't like something, just the knowledge that it's not working for us in some regard. So we can either choose to scrap it or find a way to push past that almost like discomfort that we feel of not liking something. Sometimes it is worth not having the headache and just kind of moving on to something else but other times it's a good practice for us to try to work through those barriers that come up. I feel like that's how we can really advance ourselves artistically is when we are doing that creative problem solving to get things to work for us. And it may be something else that somebody else loves but if it doesn't ring true to you, if it doesn't feel good to you, then you just have to keep working it until, um, until you're happy with it. In the end, your art practice should be for you. Even if you are sharing it with the world, if we're just creating for others, it, we're going to burn out. I think there can be elements of, of taking suggestions from other people and working that into our own art, but Somebody said white marks. Yeah, I am thinking I got to put some white marks. I got to decide if I want to bring that more in with um, paint or maybe like a little uh, pen at the end and do smaller white marks. Or maybe I do a combination of both. That might look kind of nice. It may seem silly at this stage where it looks like I'm covering a lot up, and I am, but I like the look of some of those layers peeking through underneath. I have learned that adding other colors or mixing makes uncomfortable colors more palatable. Yes, I think so too. I think if there's just something that's not quite working with us, try mixing with a color that you like or even like a shade that's close to it and you might create something that feels a little bit more authentically you. And maybe one of the reasons I'm a little bit more uncomfortable with these papers is Yes, they are all in the same color family, the colors that I picked over here on my palette, but they range a little bit more than maybe normal for me. I'm, I'm, I think I excel at working with the same kind of color and showing variations of it, but when they're too far apart, it almost takes a little bit more effort to get those all to be cohesive in my style, I think. Not sure if that makes a whole lot of sense but but a lot of people excel in working with a lot of colors at one time and I kind of envy them for that 
Um, I love when other people do that. It just doesn't always feel authentic to me when I try it. Looks like fun. Sorry, I can't watch right now. I will watch later. Yes, I will be posting the um, recording of this. It will go up on Instagram, but it will also go up on YouTube where you can watch it at your own leisure and um, change the speed of it and things like that. So thank you for joining when you could. Some reason those two sides together were just throwing me off so I'm gonna I just decided to tear it apart right now and continue to work on them separately have to leave early we'll watch the repay play later thank you thank you for joining for as long as you could I will get that posted to YouTube hopefully by tomorrow All right, this one that keeps giving me trouble. I th I'm thinking I'm gonna do some marks over like the whole area. And this one will most definitely probably be planned to be torn up for smaller collage. And that's fine too. Let's see. When you're really having trouble with a paper or something and you're on the verge of throwing it away, if you get a harebrained idea to do to it, you have nothing to lose. So just go in and add it and see see if that harebrained idea may work and it may be the thing that may, takes it from not liking it to liking it. I like some of these sections now if I were to take and tear that for collage you know in some of those sections so that might have been just the thing to kind of tie it together and then be okay with not looking at it as a whole you know because even in smaller sections it's a little bit more manageable for my my taste yes I, li I like that now Maybe that's a, a thing I need to consider work, when working with a color that is not um, as natural for me to not do as big of pages as this. I mean, these are just regular, oh, nothing is bigger than eight and a half by 11, but maybe even taking it down to some of the, those smaller sizes that are just a little bit more manageable. That way it would allow me to still play and explore with the color, but that color wouldn't feel maybe as overwhelming. I'll need to consider that for next time because some of the smaller papers I'm liking a little bit better or when I see them in smaller sections. 
And when I think about that, that does make sense. If it's a color you struggle with or don't like as much, you're going to like it better when it's not so in your face. I feel like we're constantly learning and evolving to find ways to make make our art process work for us. This looks kind of a little crazy, but I like it so far. I'm wondering what to add to it. I like that method of kind of defining that circle more with the white pen, but I'm just not sure on this page if it's the right answer, but let's just go for it. And bringing cohesion to your piece doesn't mean that you have to do the exact same thing in every circle. You could just do it in a couple of the circles and then it kind of brings everything together. So it's kind of what I like to call that asymmetrical balance. Yeah, some of these smaller pieces just seem to speak to me more. So I will have to try that next time of doing a little bit smaller sections in the colors that I struggle with. Sometimes it's nice to have the big papers in your stash though, and then you can um, take them and rip them down to your needed size when you go to use them. But it could be something that you work up to. Start small and then later, once you're more comfortable, work bigger.
What do you guys think? Should I go with my original kind of plan and try adding some green to some of these or should I just leave them kind of more monochromatic all in one kind of color way? Some I think could look good with it. Others I just think it would make it feel a little too crazy maybe. But I suppose you never know until you give it a shot. Yes, chartreuse. Other says leave monochromatic. Yeah, it's kind of hard. I'm wondering if I'll add it to maybe a couple here. Some of them I really like as is, so I won't touch those probably. Really enjoying the monochromatic. Yeah, I think my instincts tell me to leave it that way. And then there's just one little nudging part of me that's like, try to branch out, try to go outside of your comfort zone a little bit. Both, yeah, I think I, I gotta have to do a little bit of both here and see. There's no harm if I do it and don't like it. None of these are really precious. So, um, you know, these aren't expensive supplies that I'm playing around with. It's not a large canvas that I'm risking ruining, although I don't think you would ruin it. Um... How about a polite mix on a few? Add some script. Ooh, script would look really good, wouldn't it? Let's see, like this one, I think black script would look good. I use these little fine liner things for my script and then you put paint and then you mix. Um, let's see, I mix airbrush medium and some water and acrylic paint. The problem is once I add this, they are really pretty slow to dry, on, especially on camera here. Um, but I'll add and then maybe just set it aside. Let's see. That's fun on there. Yeah. Chartreuse is your color. You can make it work. Yeah, I don't know. Chartreuse is like a pretty safe color for me to add to anything. So I think I will try it. Let's see. I don't know which one is calling for it. Some of these will need some more work after I get off camera to really make it feel, feel good for me for using it going forward. But... Some I, I'm pleasantly surprised that I am doing all right with. Let's see. And then I'm trying to decide with the chartreuse, do I go big sections or small? I think I'm going to start small. I can always go bigger. Mm, I don't know that I like those two together. I don't know if it feels a little bit more juvenile when you do that, when you add that in. To see, it looks a little different on camera than it does in person. Let's keep playing around on this one and see if it's something I can make work. I think it does need some, some bigger sections and not just brought in almost feeling like an afterthought. I need to buy more of this. Let's see if there's any left in it. Oh, a little bit. I 
I know that technically with color theory, this works. I mean, they're opposites on the color wheel. I don't know. Something for me makes it feel like it's a little bit Halloween-ish, like a little, you know. Um, and again, not that that's a bad thing at all. I just don't know that it fits with my, my likings and my aesthetic. I do like the more transparent in the background rather than just um, the marks on there. I'm going to let that dry just for a second and maybe try to come back in with some marks over the top of it. Let's put it right there. So for now, I'm just going to keep that chartreuse to that one because I'm not convinced about it yet. So I'm going to see here if... I can keep going with some of these. Been loving adding this white correction pen, especially over darker areas lately, and then it really um, shows up. And when it dries, it has um, a bit of a texture to it, which I love. I was thinking a lighter, creamier chartreuse. Yeah, that might work. So maybe, are you thinking a little less lime colored? Yes, a little less lime. Let's see here what I have. Maybe I just add some white or some cream into that chartreuse too that I was working on. I don't know, those marks even for me really make this come together in a new way. Um, I know that I won't be showcasing this whole piece together, but something, those finishing marks just really add a lot. What about a dark to mid gray? That could work. That could bring some of it together. Let's see. This one I think can maybe do with a, a gray of some sort. I don't mind the gray in there. I'm not sure. I'm thinking I'm going to have a new view on some of these when I leave it for a while and come back. Sometimes when you're right in it and your nose is right up against it, um, it's hard to really be... Um, oh, I have a word in mind and I can't think about it. Think it. Um, anyway. It's easy to judge it, I think, too harshly once when we're right in it and we're too close to it. So we have to like almost step back 
and take a breather. Objective. Yes. Thank you. That's the word I was thinking of. <laughs> you ever have that where your brain just has a brain fart and you can't think it? <laughs> I like the lighter gray with this um, this one. It's a little bit more lavender, I would say, is where this one went. And I like the light gray with that. You gotta let it dry for a second and then maybe come in with some white marks on top of that light gray. That could be fun. Okay, so this dried a little bit. I'm going to try adding in some white to to that green and get it a little bit creamier. And see here. I, I like that better. I definitely like that better, that creamy. I'm going to have to keep playing with it and see um, how I can really maybe take it to a place that I love it. Yeah, I like the cream a lot better, and I like the then translucent behind it coming out. Overall, I think I like the pages better that stayed more monochromatic but I think it's good to have options and kind of push ourselves as well. I'm trying to think for my own usage also, would I ever really put these two colors together, say in a journal or something? And maybe, maybe I would, and maybe that's something after I play with it for a while, I'll be more inspired to do so. So I try to keep papers on hand with colorways that I use a lot, and then that helps to, um, oh, it helps to have pre-made stuff to already pull from. Okay, so we're hitting that hour mark. I don't want to go too much longer, but let me look at some of these and see if we can kind of just take them right into the next, the next finalized step. This didn't dry a ton, but let's see. Yeah, I like the almost tone on tone coming through. It's a totally different look than going a bold kind of contrast dark color underneath the white marks. And this is not dry at all as I'm adding on, so it's not adding on to that section very well, but I'll have to keep coming back to that. Okay, let's look at a few of our others. I think this one for me right now is done. Um, it's in a place that I'm decently happy with. I think I'll leave that one. Leave that one. I can always come back and add more later. Um, some of these are definitely a little bit more plain than others, but that's okay. I think I'm calling it a success that I'm even getting some in this colorway that I like. So... I'm taking those little victories as they come. A lot of times I can come away from a play session and like everything I do, but sometimes that's not the case and that's just as normal and that's just as fine. I like these white marks coming in and they kind of echo the shape of the stencil that I did before. And then it really brings just a bright pop on top of it. Now, 
And I like to keep these in little clumps as well. I feel like they create more of an impact rather than just spacing out little dots all over the page. A group of anything creates more of an impact than just one alone. Yeah, sometimes it's not until these very final steps that things just start coming together. All right, let's keep flipping through. I have a few more left. This one needs something, but I'm not sure, and it's still wet right now. So I think I'm going to leave this one, work on it more off camera. My tape I need to work more on. I didn't pay much attention to that. Um, this one needs a little bit more help as well. This one is really random, but I, I kind of like it. Um, I'm not sure. I'm running lower on this pen, so I'm having to press down on it more. Usually it flows out a little nicer. Those little white details make all the difference. I, I completely agree. It's bringing things completely together in my mind and bringing them to a place that I'm actually enjoying them. This little mark making pen is genius. It marks over almost everything and it dries really quick and leaves a little bit of a texture to your page. I even like how that brought it together. And I'm just kind of sticking within the color blocking that I had already done. It makes a nice little shape for you to follow along. You wouldn't have to, but I feel like it almost creates more of an impact when you do those pinstripes. I even really enjoy how that's come together now. This one needs a little bit more depth as far as color goes. I really feel like I only put that one color on at the very beginning. So I know I'm covering up some of those more detailed marks, but I'm okay with that because then they'll kind of peek through from behind and the layers are always what adds more interest to your pieces. Well, I'll have to keep working on that. This is the one I did with the script. I'm going to add, I think, some script to those other ones as well that need more help. I really like how that looks. They just take a lot to dry, so it's kind of hard on camera to show you guys. And then you know what? I actually like the way that this one ended up turning out. Um, thank you for the suggestion to make that chartreuse a bit more creamy. I think that really, I don't know, I'm digging it now. I did not think I would like it, but I, I'm liking it. So I may have to try a little bit more and experiment with this colorway. And maybe some of those that didn't have enough on them yet, I could play with those a little bit more. Um, but I'm going to sign off now. I'm going to finish these papers that I had been working on. Continue on to the third and final part to see how I finish these papers with some mark making and other goodies. Thanks for watching so far. See you in part three.